Hey everybody, welcome to Sacrilege. This is a, uh, I believe it's a three level demo of a uh, lovely little original Quake campaign by Shadesman. So, I'm gonna go ahead and play through this. Sounds like it's got some original music as well. So we get easy, normal, hard. Man, keep them with tradition, I see. So, I'm kinda curious now if there is a nightmare mode. I mean, I'm sure there is, but, uh, you know. <laughs> so, um, I'm playing this with Iron Whale. This does need a, uh, semi-modern source port, I guess. I don't know if the remaster will work. I haven't tried it. I just generally prefer using just kind of standalone stuff, if possible. Uh, really curious about that nightmare thing. I mean, it is kind of tradition to have a uh, nightmare portal hidden away. Huh. <laughs> and splat. Whoops. Oh, there it is. Okay. Whoops. Ah! It's kind of awkward. Oh, actual decent ladders. Weird. So now, the question is... I'm probably just going to play on hard, if we're being honest, but I'm just... <laughs> Not the best at Quake platforming. Most like, whoa. Mostly because I don't play the game as often as I should. There's the other possibility. I was kind of almost expecting that to just start the game up. I mean, the other possibility is that there's a uh, portal in here or something, or a way to activate the nightmare thing. This is kind of how it works in the OG, because I mean, you have to select ex episode four. <laughs> You're trying to climb the vines. You have to go into X episode 4 and then drop into the Nightmare Portal, but... Eh, either way, whatever. We've spent enough time on the start map. Let's just go ahead and get this thing started. Cool visuals, by the way. I figure I should probably point that out. So, let's move. Alright. Hello up there. Oh, you know what? Let me make sure... Okay. I'll disable auto-aim. Because we have mouse look. We don't need that stinking auto aim shite. Man, it's so weird seeing like a Quake add on where there's actual like colors. I just fell. No shit, Sherlock! <laughs> Alright, anyway. Oh, we got a tunnel here. Ow. Bastard. Come on. Man, got a proverbial... Oh, hello, new enemy. Wow. That guy's kind of threatening, not gonna lie. Alright, so it looks like there's... Oh, maybe right up here? Yeah. I wonder if that guy gives us the nail gun. That'd be kind of nice. It's definitely not an enemy you want to fight when you're submerged in water, though. Oh, you just get nails. Oh, well. Alright, so they look... Uh, a little different. Um, it's kind of a reskin of the normal grunts. But it should be visually distinct enough where it's uh, not a problem. Alright, well anyway, we have this entrance down here, so let's go in it. Okay, there's a... Oh, no, no, no. I kind of want to go down there, but... Quake guy, sorry, Ranger... Doesn't exactly have the best lung capacity, so, um, probably need to find a bio suit if we want to go and uh, collect whatever that is. And he could barely make it from point A to point B here. Oh, this is not ideal. I don't have a whole lot of health. Or are they wandering around? Alright, let's just move. Yeah, I, I thought that was going to happen. There, you just don't have the movement underwater. Well, yay for auto saves, I guess. Alright, let's um, run down here real quick. 
Let's do a little bit of exploring. Why not? It's kind of... Oh, it's a quad. Except that doesn't help my air situation. Yeah, I just don't have enough health to do that. So, um, I'm just going through the front door. And I'm not going to turn this into a save scum session or <laughs> repeatedly play through it until... Whoa. Hello there. But, yeah, I'm not going to save scum. I'm not going to repeatedly play through this until I get the outcome I want. It's going to be just a pure blind adventure. <sighs> See how much easier it is to dodge nails when you're not underwater? Crazy. Um debating on whether I should try shooting that. Ah, what the hell, I've got ammo. Nope. <laughs> Not so much. Ah, this looks familiar. Actually, is it? Wait, you look different. Oh, is it more like future tech and less uh, fantasy? Cthulian fantasy? I mean, the music's giving me definite Quake 2 vibes, so, um, probably. Cool. Yeah, you know what, let's stick with the nail gun for a little bit. Our shells are not looking great. Nice way to sell weapon. I wonder how many other uh, custom things we're going to be dealing with here. I seem to recall the description on uh, Q Addicted saying that this didn't use any cut up uh, any Quake C patches. So I wonder if it's maybe using like expansion enemies that I'm not aware of. I haven't actually played much. Okay, yeah, he's definitely less ogre-ish, but yeah, I haven't really played through any of the uh, Quake expansions. So mission packs, whatever you want to call them. Well, they've definitely... I don't know if it's just, like, the lighting engine, or if the, uh... Those guys have a different skin. But the Scrags definitely look a bit different. It's not a bad look. Honestly, just aesthetically, this, uh... I'm just really liking this. Like, the... W oh, hi there! Okay, okay, okay. Calm your ass down. Wow, that's some, uh... Precision grenading, I gotta say. My goodness. Alright. Gotta get that guy. But... Yeah, this looks really good. And it really kinda... And granted, okay, we're, we're dealing with, um... Very different time frame here. <laughs> I mean, Quake had to do... What it did with a pretty limited palette. And given their search on... Or search. Their, um... Ooh. Wow. Dude with a friggin' super nail gun, are you serious? <laughs> anyway, given their focus on, um, kind of fantasy settings, they probably figured that the earth earthen tones were ideal, which, you know, fair enough. But man, isn't this game just look so much nicer when there's a bit of a, a bit more of a splash of color? And even, oh, then again, you know, I, holy shit! Shades, what are you trying to do to me, man? Really? Oh, did I hear infighting? Yep, they can kill each other. Okay, awesome. Well, my ammo supply is not so awesome. Oh, God. I have literally nothing. Okay. That's not good. Because there's no way I'm killing that guy with melee weapons. That's just an impossibility. Okay, so... Weapons. Um, where do I get the guns? Um, come on, shoot him. No, not you. Wow. Yeah, I... How am I supposed to... 
great. It saved right. I might have to restart now that I think about it. I mean, I have nothing. Well, barely anything. Basically, I have to get that guy to kill him, kill the guy in the front, and... Okay, correction. Yeah, I need that guy to die close to me so I can grab that. I can take exactly one super nail gun round. He unfortunately only drops five nails. Well, got that at least. Yellow armor. Thank you. This is very spare on ammo, that's for sure. Well, hey, I mean, we found a big shell box. We found a big nail box. Yellow armor. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Exit. Don't want to do that just yet. Oh, hello there. Oh. Yeah, it kind of seems like just getting those guys to infight is kind of the way to go. Also, oh, hi there. Wasn't expecting to see you so soon. All right, bait the melees. Oh God, I'm out of practice. There we go. Yeah, Shamblers are kind of like Revenants in a way, except, well, if you get the timing right, they're even easier. So if you bait their melee, they will not retaliate with um, any sort of ranged attack. You just have to get the timing down. Which, I mean, you know, practice makes perfect. I don't play Quake as often as I used to, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Another nice thing with... Oh, pfft, bonk. Another thing that's kind of nice about Quake is if you end up in a situation where you don't have very much health, you will start the next level with at least 50. Unless there's a Quake C patch that uh, disables that. I'm just doing a quick health scan because I figure if I can get a couple... Well, there's that. Hey, look, 52! Hallelujah! What the hell happened? Why didn't I jump and what hurt me? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that was a little awkward. There wasn't anything out here that I left behind, was there? Might as well look, right? I mean, there's that area down below with the quad. Which, funny enough, I don't even think counts as a secret. Whoops. <laughs> I just do move forward on my mouse. Apparently, I never bound that. There we go. <laughs> just be lazy. Okay, we did get all the kills, though, so at least that's out of the way. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave. Like I said, blind playthrough. Uh, this is just a, a demo, so um, I figure when the full thing comes out, that's when I'll be a little bit more explorative, I think. But it's just kind of a teaser. Whoa. Extreme Dutch angle, baby. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, that was a very, uh, very spicy opening. Kind of liking this so far. So, um, so we got two more levels to go. I probably should have... Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what the name of that one was. What's this one? Dark Realms. Um, I hit tab a couple times. You know, you can just rewind and find out. Actually, I'll probably just have it in the description. Oh! Why are you allowed to do that, my friend? Oh, I can cast spells. I'm a little... What's your fudget? Okay. Oh, I like those little five health pickups. Oh. Very traditional looking ogre. So now we're definitely in more of a... Uh, something that resembles original Quake a bit more. I ain't afraid of no... Quake. And that looks like one of them there, Infinite Falls. I just jump and... Okay, yeah, you just fling yourself into it. Yeah, see, those guys definitely have a, um... Like, overall cooler look to them. I mean, in terms of, uh, color temperatures. So, oh, nice health. 
Hmm. Well, not yet. Not yet. Nope. <laughs> Just kind of going through my, uh... Oh, hi. Funny enough, the very easy to miss nail gun. Jeez, what in the hell is this? So those are some sort of cluster grenades, I think. Okay, so on contact, they explode in a very awkward way. We're just gonna do this. Because screw that. It's an explosive trap, tee hee hee hee. It doesn't help that uh, those guys are very good at lobbing grenades through tiny ass gaps. All right, one down, heard the death noise. It was one of those cases, though, where I really wish that I would have had some explosive weapon or perhaps a um, super nail gun slash perforator. You know, it really likes to do that thing where <laughs> where they um, have different names for stuff, whether it's in the manual or in game. It's like with um, with Doom, for instance. The um, Soul Sphere slash Supercharge. It says Soul Sphere in the manual. Pretty sure. Ooh, clipping. Haha. <laughs> Your sword doesn't do anything to me. But, um, there's that. In Quake, there's the uh, Super Nail Gun, as it's called in game, but they call it the Perforator in the manual. Ow. I was kind of hoping that would bounce off that, but, um, he was a little bit too far forward, I think. Ooh, sneaky trap. There's one patient knight. More like a ninja. Alright, good. Ow. Oh, I love the nail gun. It's so bad. Oh, it's one of those dudes. Ho, oh, hey! Bring the ogre back to, uh, the classics where he shot, shoots nails, although that's more like a flak cannon. And then there's that douchebag. I almost think there needs to be maybe a little bit more distinction between the ogre types. Because that guy's got like the, um... Kind of like the slate gray with yellow accents. That guy, from what I could tell, is just literally just slate gray. Oof, that was a little weird. Ah. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, no, it's kind of like just normal brown. Okay, let's, um, there's a difference. I don't know. I haven't really developed the, um, visual muscle memory, if that's what you want to call it, to, uh, distinguish between them, so. Might just need to get used to them. We'll see. Well, hello there. <laughs> Found a secret. God, I love Quake's verticality. Or I should say its potential verticality. Oh, hey, uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> this uses a, uh... Yeah, most elevators in Quake are just kind of, you know, you hit the button, they go up. Eventually, they go back down. These elevators are a bit fancier. Gives the player a little bit more control. Whoa. Oh. I'm gonna try to jump over it. Die, please. Thank you. That's another, uh, with those, um, Death Knights, you can kind of bait their melee as well. Oh, hello up there. Um, I want you. I want you bad. Not to be confused with the Offspring song of the same name. Right. Right, right. We're almost, we're almost there. Ooh. Lost all my speed. Ended up bumping the, uh... Bump in the corner there. How many secrets do we have here? Three? Okay. So this is... You do get some air control in Quake. Nice jumping. Well, thanks, buddy. And that is secret two. So. Only two tries. Not horrendous. Not horrendous at all. And red armor is uh, the best armor in Quake, so... 
for those unaware. Seriously, Quake is a badass game. I mean... Especially, well, that's one of the things... Oh, what are you? You're shooting like spit at me or something. It's kind of gross. And making strange, strange noises. Oh, why are you... Why do you chuckle like that? What are you? Okay. Anyway... Yeah, Quake is, uh, Quake is good. Uh, one of the things that I need to do at some point is get to some more modern Quake stuff. Like I've been told by multiple people that I need to play Arcane Dimensions. And from what I've, s oh jeez, from what I've read about it, it seems like something I would be interested in. So, yeah. I also want to get back to Quake Mod Showcase at some point, but I just need to get the source port situation under control. I've been developing one that's just, well, a source port that's very vanilla compatible. Been having some issues with it, though. Part of it's just because I haven't had the time to really take a deep dive into it. But yeah, the one part of Quake's of a bleh, Quake source code that is very, very um, platform. Well, what's the opposite of platform agnostic? But um, one part that doesn't work. Well, that isn't 64-bit clean. We'll put it that way. Is the Quake C interpreter? Oh, hello there. Oh, my baby. So, trying to manage the very curious way that uh, our good friend John C handled pointers and pointer arithmetic in that area has been very interesting. Although the one thing that I find interesting is it all depends on how your operating system maps memory. And, um, so on Windows and Linux, it's a complete no-go on 64-bit, but it works on 32-bit. On Mac OS, and I'm not sure why this is the case, just something about the way its kernel handles memory allocations. But on that pl platform, it just works as is in, uh, on ARM64. I haven't tried it on, uh, Intel <laughs> on x86. But yeah, very curious thing. It uh, just works there. I don't know if it's some sort of compatibility thing, some sort of ARM-specific thing, or what it is. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess realistically, it's in kind of a workable state. All I'd really need to do is just use the 32-bit version. Because it's Quake, it's not... Ow, 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 ow. Or I can just borrow other GPL code, I guess. See how uh, Quake Spasm and friends do it. All right. You know, gotta say, Shades. Um, if I had to make a suggestion in this section, close the door. <laughs> that would be a very. That fight's a little bit too easy to cheese, I think. <laughs> Of course, I completely botched the shambler part of it, but yeah, like this part here. Oh man, this would be so much fun if like a gate came crashing down and you actually had to move. Is this meaningful? No. Very cool architecture though. Hmm. Lovely little uh, pitfalls there. Almost feels like that's gonna come down. Let's go this way first. Cool. Everything is fine. I'm guessing that switch probably opens that gate. This really, like, just basing it on the way this looks. See the, that little central platform there? It really feels like these ledges are going to come down to some degree. We couldn't load. Nope, little bug there. Kind of looks like sound might be just specified twice. So, Also funny, but the cursor... My mouse cursor looks like it's in a different position on the... Op oh, no, it's not. I'm stupid. All right.
You son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean that with love. Oh, even better. Let's use my sniper shotgun here. Alright, so avoid the most narrow part. Be kind of nice if there was just like a little crack overlay on the... Cracked overlay on the texture. Oh, you know what I think is supposed to happen? I think that's supposed to happen. Where it's supposed to just... You're supposed to be able to walk over it once, but not a second time. Yeah, I don't know if that worked exactly as intended. Still, it's one of those things that I... I had a feeling that was going to happen, but... Oh, hello there, uh... I don't even know. I was going to call him Spectre, but then, as we all know, there's only room for one. Alright, well, that's two secrets down, and, um... You know what? It's fine by me. Like I said, I'll uh, take a deeper dive into it when the full thing comes out. And some more extreme Dutch angles. <laughs> Not too shabby. Oh, we're starting off with the good stuff. Oh. There we go. Hmm. Thank you. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know if uh, rocket jumping is necessarily the intended way to get that, because it looks like you can probably drop down from overhead, but... Hey, you know, it's an early health power-up. How am I going to say no to that? <sighs> These guys suck. I can only imagine that they just sort of, like, the whole design process behind the Vor was probably, uh... Just, how on earth can we make an enemy that is worse in every way than the Archfile. Not Archfile. Revenant. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, hello. Is that meant to crush me? I think it might be. What is the... But why the... Ooh. Yeah, because that whole... The way that these projectiles are guided... I mean, thankfully, when they're in a situation like that, it's not a big deal at all. But, yeah... Oh, okay. That wasn't just a light. Oh, this feels like a boss fight. Or some sort of epic arena fight. Well, they give me a lot of rockets. Oh, hello. Ah, it's got the same logic. Actually, no, he doesn't. Um, he definitely aims ahead. Oof. Ow, my face. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Shit. So is that. So anyway, one little... Ooh, he can infight. I like that. Ugh! Fiery elemental. Okay. Oh, shit. So he leads the player. So uh, bear that in mind. You have to kind of move a little bit back and forth. Ow. It's all fun and games until someone spawns on top of you. But yeah, move back and forth with this guy. Get him in fight where possible. Don't move too quickly because otherwise you'll take a direct hit from that, which you don't want. Cover this, the guys on the side. Now, one thing that um, makes this guy... Well, that makes this strategy effective... Ha! Jibbed. Okay, yeah, he's not too bad. You just have to get a certain... You, you have to get the rhythm down, that's all. But, uh, Cthon in, um, episode two, one of the things that makes him tricky is, um... Oh, hello there. Well, that's nifty. Fiery rune key, alright. So, three elemental bosses, I'm assuming? Okay, anyway, back to words. So one of the things that makes uh, Cthon a lot trickier 
is um, he has a like the difficulty like normally he throws the uh, fireballs directly at the player oh you piss ant there you go he throws them directly at the player now the reason that's not the case in higher difficulties is because it applies a little bit of randomness to uh, the aim target and that random number is basically multiplied by the skill level. So the higher your skill level, the more random his throwing pattern's gonna be. You know, I'm kinda wondering now if rocket jumping up there would lead to anything good. But at the same time, I don't wanna waste health. Yeah, I was trying to wiggle around him, because I heard him. <laughs> well, nope, I failed. I failed you all. Might be able to do it from here, though. Persnickety bugger, aren't we? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib, my friend. And I like the sounds of your town, Murfreesboro. But now you get it. Just in the nick of time, I see. Cool pattern. Alright, so... Oh, I guess we go up there. And we go into the Fountain of Gold! Holy shnikes! <laughs> I gotta say, that was a nice quad damage. I think I made pretty good use of that. Fuck yeah. Alright, that's how you do it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to call that cheesing a boss fight. Because, I mean, I did find a secret. I don't even... <laughs> Sadly, I kind of don't even really know what that guy does now. But, oh well. <laughs> Shouldn't let me have a quad damage, see? See? When in doubt, blame the mapper. Alright, so there's no convenient teleporter back here. Ow. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Ow. Holy shnikes. Oh, that does explodey damage. <sighs> Not fair. Oh well. At least I saved after I completely... Well, <laughs> made a slight mockery of the gold elemental. Ow. Ooh, that one hurt. Damn. Alright, so that, gotta say, those, um, that lightning trap, ow, is suddenly very threatening in this situation. Unfortunately, I didn't grab those, uh, health files. Is that guy dead? Oh, he is. Nifty. Alright, so, got almost all the kills, got almost all the secrets. Okay. Okay. And now we gotta do this one for real, I guess. Ah, well. <laughs> what you gonna do? I mean, you know, we, we did one for real, not one not quite for real. And then we'll do this one for real. Same aiming pattern, so. Oh, mama, that's a lot of... Ugh. Yeah. It's a little bit awkward when, um, <laughs> when that ends up happening. When you get pushed around by a grenade. There's the upper level. I'm kind of curious. Oh, no, you can't go up there. Not without rocket jumping, anyway. Yeah, it's pretty... It's fine. This actually kind of pulls that... Ah, damn. Cobalt Elemental. Alright. This is kind of like one of those things, like, um... Oh, a lot of those games where, like, the, uh... Trash enemies are harder than the actual bosses. Okay. Because, I mean, really, this... This part isn't bad. The part with the Scrags, I mean... There's generally just a minor annoyance. 
But when the ogres come in, things suddenly get a lot tighter. Ooh, and then you forget about the um, movements you have to do in order to not get wrecked by the elemental. Because you're too busy trying to run around. Yeah, it's like this is one of those things where this boss is super easy. Oh, I didn't jib this one. But this boss is easy if you look at him in a vacuum. However, <laughs> if you just kind of um, take him at face value, or if you... What am I talking about? Um, if you face him with all of his uh, little buddies, that's when things get really spicy. Which is kind of a uh, sign of a well-designed fight. So, you gotta take it as a whole, not as a individual unit. Oh, right, yeah, I didn't miss those. Those are just drops from the um, evil dudes. But you know what, we're grabbing them anyway. Even if I ultimately lost more health than I gained, doesn't matter. This is bothering me, like, right? Right here? I don't know. <laughs> okay. We do have one more secret as well, which is probably... I think I see what to do. I actually think that thing up there was probably intended for you to just walk off and go over it, but... Yeah. Either way, we have the Thunderbolt. We don't really need it, but... Gold, silver. Oh, hello there. How do I... How I do enjoy a good show. Bravo, Ranger! Uh, Maxwell, is that you? You died! Death is just the beginning. And I'll be seeing you soon. Oh, snap. Got some intrigue going on here. <laughs> nice. Hey, I maxed the level. Yay! That was a really fun, like, kind of mini-boss stage. I really like that one. And we're back at the beginning. Yay. Okay, so, um, that was sacrilege. Aside from me just derping and not knowing how to get to the nightmare thing, but you know what? It was a pretty decent challenge on hard. Um, wait, I suddenly got an idea. I'm... Oh, I'm gonna guess that's that's not it. Well, you know, I tried. There's always the possibility of activating something in the other side and teleporting back and going here. But uh, either way, yeah, that was the uh, that was a demo, and it was quite fun. I really need to get into this modern quake thing a bit more. It's just I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of hidden gems I missed. And uh, as far as this one goes, I highly recommend um, either giving it a shot or um, if what you saw here looks interesting, maybe waiting on the final version to come out. Either way, yeah, I've had some fun with this. Now if you'll excuse me, we do a little bit of boundary, boundary breaking here. See, even, even a complete noob at rocket jumping can go places you're not supposed to go. Also very, very cool sky. Oh, damn. <laughs> that is nice. Anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave you with this nice view. So, um... <laughs> as always, uh, I'll put the download link for this in the description below if you're interested. Um, I'm playing this with the Iron Whale source port. I'll drop a link there. Link for this, too. Might as well. Um... Because as you can see, it works quite well in it. And I'm going to go ahead and leave you here with this nice, lovely bit of loveliness. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, uh, Shadesman, for creating a kick-ass demo. Anxiously awaiting the full thing. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.